Hello, I'm Cindy Toppin. I'm the current chair of the Heritage Preservation Commission in Hastings, Minnesota. Today I'm here to talk to you about preservation awards. We've been giving preservation awards since 2001 to homeowners who've done an admirable job of preserving older homes. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we did not give any awards in 2020. But last week, we presented three new preservation awards to homeowners at the Hastings City Council meeting. I'm happy to share the stories of those three winners with you today. The first winner is 623 Tyler Street in Hastings. The Dizelle House is also the location of the Old City Jail. The Old City Jail was moved to this lot prior to or about 1882 and converted into a residence. In 2004, the owner requested permission from the HPC to demolish the building. We don't know why that wasn't done, but the current owner worked with the HPC to completely and meticulously restore the building. The inside of the building, as you can see, was in fairly bad shape. And this is how it looks today. They replaced the siding with LP Smart Side manufactured wood siding, saved or replicated the trim, replaced the windows with the same profile as the existing windows, and rebuilt the porch reusing original materials when possible. You can see the inside has been completely remodeled. And here you can even see the holes where the old cells fit into the grooves of the wall. This is a fine example of historic preservation. The current owner is Marcy Sadler. Our next winner is 705 West 3rd Street. This is what it looked like before. It's known as the Albert Truex House. This house was built in 1872. It was moved from 2nd Street. The original land was bought from General LaDuke in 1868 by Anthony Reed, who sold it to Albert Truex in 1872. This two-story house has a hipped roof with dental molding at the cornice. Projecting bays at east and west elevations are original to the house. The original cupola was taken off. Although altered, it is one of the few surviving hipped roofed houses representative of the period. The owners, wearing hazmat suits, removed the asbestos shingle siding, exposed and painted the original wood siding, which highlighted the original trim. This is a good example of restoring original features instead of replacing them. Lisa and Landon Duban own this home. Our third winner is 320 West 7th Street. This historic home was built in 1885. It later belonged to Theodore Cook, a trained pharmacist who moved to Hastings in 1906. In spite of being a trained pharmacist, his only profession in Hastings was banking. He was the president of the Hastings National Bank from 1938 to 1947. The two-story wood house has a front porch supported by wooden posts, and is framed with wooden brackets and spindles, which give it a gingerbread house look. The previous owner worked with the HPC to completely redo the house, update it, you can see the back of it here before, and add a second story addition and garage. This is what it looks like today. He retained the original siding, replaced any damaged wood, and used matching wood siding on the addition. Replacement windows are compatible with existing historic units, and windows on the addition are appropriately placed. Here's the back of the house where you can see the new garage. The inside of the house was redone as well. Neighbors were highly supportive of the project as the house had been foreclosed and empty for years. You can see the inside was completely redone it's a fine example of an exterior restoration with a compatible addition. The person who saved and rehabbed the home was Gary Lachance. The current owner is Dana Dottillo. Each of these winners received a plaque in honor of their preservation efforts. In addition, because all three of these homes are more than 100 years old, they received a century plaque to be displayed on the outside of their home. 
the Hastings Heritage Preservation Commission has established a Century Home Program to acknowledge residential structures of significant historical interest within the community. Qualifying homes may purchase a historic building plaque for display according to guidelines. The program is voluntary for interested property owners. If you're interested in knowing more, contact Justin Fortney at the City of Hastings Government.